Hola amigos, what is up? This is Tails Farbog and welcome back to Let's Play Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. In the last excellent adventure, we went and cleared up the first two missions of Pirate's Island and did pretty well for ourselves overall. So in today's episode, we're going to be starting up the third, fourth, and fifth missions for Pirate's Island. Wow, Pirate's Island, not Pirate's Ireland. Welcome to Pirate's Ireland. The best world in the game. Honest. Alright, so we got a penguin here. If you talk to him. I am the King of Clippin. I am called King Clippin. Wow, who'd have thunk it? Come from far to test your courage in a race of honor. If you defeat me, I shall acknowledge your exceptional courage. Ready, go! Alright, so King Clippin here is the first racing opponent we have. Now, I believe there's two or three racing opponents. King Clippin is the easiest by far, at least as far as I can remember. And that was a fantastic time for a voice crack, as per usual. Oh, I gotta stop uh, lampshading that, I guess. So the way the uh, races work is, dash a lot. Dash a lot and you win. Do you know how you lose? You lose by not winning. You also lose by falling into the water, which... You should probably avoid water, too. Just throwing that out there. Oop, missed that coin. No, well, doesn't matter. Because I believe we are already at the end of the course. Which means all we've got to do is wait. Okay, while we're waiting... He came here pretty quickly that time. <laughs> Guess I must not have been doing as well as I thought I was. Yo, dude! I can't believe it. You are amazing. I'm sure I can trust you with my children now. Are they all your children? Please save Morningland. Oh, well, I mean, if you're asking politely like that, I guess I gotta. Let's pick up our courage emblem here. Do we get King Clippin' in the camera? No, we do not. Well, we kinda do. Kinda. Look at his belly. His apparently transparent stomach. That's just weird. Rank C, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have created the world's first translucent penguin. What has science done? Oh my goodness. Alright. So, now that we're done with that, I guess we're going on to mission four, save Rolly. Don't know who Rolly is? Well, um, do you remember that full motion video we saw at the beginning? Well, Rolly's one of those characters. Specifically, she's the girl. You can tell because she's dressed in pink. Friend Rolly has been kidnapped by the crows. It looks like the crows have set bombs all around her. Yes. One bomb. Well, one bomb can still be lethal. Especially if someone has that bomb and then just keeps on saying that there's nobody home. I don't get what that's all about, but... Oop. Well, we gotta get back up on dry land. And get up on there. Now this mission, you kinda have to speed run it. Even more so than the King Clippin' race. Because there is a five minute time limit, and believe it or not, five, lim five minutes is actually somewhat strict. It's not like hugely strict or anything like that, but the pressure may be on. Especially if you're someone who feels pressured really easily. So now I guess we've gotta kill all the enemies to progress. Uh, thank you, dude. I've also got to kill this guy as well, because he counts as an enemy, and this guy definitely does. Look at the way he's staring at us. Look at those eyes. Oop. This guy, on the other hand, he doesn't want any of what we're having. He'd rather just wait for the novelization to come out. That's how dead set he is on ruining our fun. So now, you actually don't have to go through that door that we saw, like the uh, little egg hoop that we saw. 
Instead, you have to go to that egg hoop right there. Come on, and yes! Oop, we gotta move up the forward a little bit. There we go. Oh, man. I always feel really nervous about doing that jump. Oop. There we go. We got our check coin there. Pretty sure there's already one we've missed, but oh well. And now we actually have to go up the slide. Yes, you heard me. The most daring of all missions going up a slide. I'm actually going to get that chick coin there. Even though it basically puts us back at square one, I really don't care, because I just wanted to get that chick coin just to prove I can. I'm making something out of my life, Mom. I'm collecting all the coins in a fucking Billy Hatcher game. There we go, and... Ooh, this coin looks like it could be a little bit tricky. With it just staying there. Alright, come on, one more, one more. Like, one more, one more. And there we go, now... We've gotta save Rolly from that bomb. Now, we've gotta find a safe place to detonate the bomb, and the safest place of all... That was hard. Hi, Rolly. I've come to save you. Talk to me! Thank you for rescuing me. I almost got turned into fried chicken back there. Well, you're not a chicken, though. You're a human being. At least as far as I'm aware? <coughs> I mean, if you were a chicken, I mean, I, I guess that's perfectly fine. You can be whatever you want to be. I mean, I mean, I want to be a giant robot. And that's why the world makes fun of me. I mean, that's not the only reason, but... What I'm saying is, if you want to be a chicken, that's perfectly fine. Aspire to your dreams, no matter how dumb they may be. Right, that's our ninth Courage Emblem. And Rolly has joined us. The number of missions has been increased. That's good. More missions to slog through. Great. I never checked what Rolly's missions are. What are her missions? Secret of the Windmill. Interesting. She even has her own icon, too. Huh. Let's go on to mission five, then. Treasure in the captain's room. And while we're getting this introduction, I need to take me a swig of fruit punch. Mission time. That's a very disturbed-looking skull. Let's go! Alrighty, then. What do you have to say? They say that long ago, chicken pirates hid their treasure in a room somewhere. There's supposed to be mountains of treasure in there. wonder if it's really true. Treasure? Yes. Mountains? Probably not. I think treasure was most notably, uh, famous for Gunstar Heroes and Dynamite Heady. Not mountains. If they were to make mountains the video game, that'd be kind of neat. I'd play it. I, uh, honest to god, I love a lot of Treasure's games. Also, here's a little bit of a something interesting. It's an egg with Sonic's face on it. Wow, I wonder what it does. We'll find out later. Sonic eggs actually have a number of various Sega characters inside them, but we can't use them quite yet. I forgot what the conditions are, but uh, if I remember them, I'll put them on screen. Probably. Hopefully. Maybe. So timing on this is a little bit weird. I am kind of apprehensive about these uh, swing and anchor pendulums. Not because they're, you know, super intimidating or anything, but they do way too much damage for their own good. Uh, and stuck the landing there. That's just great. We got screwed out of an egg as well, which is even better. Uh, the animal in that egg actually doesn't, I mean, isn't of any significance right now, anyway. In fact, the animal in that egg kinda sorta sucks. So, I'ma just ignore it. Actually, I'll put that there, because there's a fire comb over here, which I would like to get. Okay, fine, I will fight you, crow dude. There we go, jeez. Give me your watermelon. 
eat down watermelon. You know, just like that. Oh man, I... Oh, shit. I was gonna talk about that, uh, parody type thing. Then... <sighs> Never mind, I'm... Somebody who knows what I'm talking about will know what I'm talking about, and I realize how dumb that just sounded. Anyway, one thing I'd like to do is aim above those gates. Because our egg then just falls into the water and abruptly dies. Also, speaking of abruptly dying, let's kill these folks. Oop. Oh no. No, not tongues. Anything but that. Actually, I forgot who uh, did that parody. Was it Nox, I think? I'm not entirely sure. The only reason I know it is because, uh, Adam Buckley brought it up in a YouTube video. If you don't know who Adam Buckley is, he is my favorite cynical Canadian. I'm pretty sure that narrows things down very well, but, uh, come on, let's go. Took me a while to actually lock on to the sky. So, <clears throat> I think I actually said something, uh, earlier about the animals not having secondary effects. I think that's actually not true, because the animal I got from that orange egg that uh, got me killed... Um... Actually, I think as long as I had that animal out, I wasn't taking any damage from anything, because I... I ran into a lot of stuff, because I'm a dumb motherfucker, but... For some reason, I wasn't getting hurt. Which makes me think that maybe there are secondary effects to the animals after all. Anyway, if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing here, why, it's pretty obvious. You're putting out fires. So you are a firefighter. You know what would really suck, actually? If by getting the fire comb, I've screwed myself out of doing this mission because I would get caught in the fire because I'd be reigniting it. That would suck, but be hilarious at the same time. You have no... Well, I can't say you have no idea because... We probably do have an idea. Anyway, let's get our courage emblem and be done with it. Also, I'm pretty sure our penguin is actually Scrooge McDuck. Look at how happy he is to be in all that money. All that money texture. Rank C, as usual. Save game data as is? Why, certainly, good sir. I'm certainly uncertain. And now that we've completed all five of these missions here, we've been getting a lot of coins in uh, mission four, I think it's about time to end this episode off. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next part, hopefully, where we take on World 3, Dino Mountain, and save Uda Uda. Until then, however, this is Tales of Firewalker signing out. Thank you all for watching. And I hope you're having a fantastic day.